Hello, sunshine. Narcissistic abuse, emotional abuse, mental abuse shit 101. Dependency to interdependency. As we heal from this shit, we're going to go through several different stages. And to be honest, these are sort of stages that all human beings need to go through to individualize. And to come into some type of real selfhood. We live in a highly narcissistic, childish, infantilized, collectivistic, almost communistic society here in the Western world. This creates problems for all of us because we, we've all been affected Certain types of childishness can be seen as narcissistic. Certain types of it can be seen as naive. Uh, or both. And we all lie in that spectrum. When a child is born, they're, they're highly dependent upon their mother and their father. And their, what they call what, family of origin, their group the original group. As time goes by, typically, usually, uh, the male child will become codependent upon his female parent, and the female child will become codependent on their male parent. This is not always true. Sometimes in single parent households, uh, it can be uh, the same-sex parent. So, this isn't always true. Uh, most of us that have been, what they call, what, highly empathic, highly sensitive people, uh, enablers, um, or the abused, we've become very codependent. We, 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 in a sense, we have learned a type of learned helplessness to where we disregarded certain of our needs in order to give to this other person and we lost a huge part of ourself. We also lost a huge part of being a more centered human being and being a more independent person person and like I said we go through certain stages I'm gonna, I'm gonna list those stages now you, you know as as a normal healthy individual and most of us are not and we may never be our objective is to heal and to become as healthy as fucking possible. Having said that, as a child moves towards maturity, they'll go through these levels. Dependency, codependency, counterdependency, independency, and if they're really healthy, they'll go into interdependency. And we can all progress or regress. I mean, I know in my own, in my own recovery, 
I have went from everything from codependent to interdependent back to at this point right now I'm sort of at a counter dependent stage uh, but we all want to go towards interdependence to where we can move in and out of our concentric or overlapping groups or in our immediate environment and work with people um, and it's a fine balance of give and take you, you have to really be highly mindful highly aware and highly conscious of how much you're giving to the world and how much it's giving back how much you're giving to people and how much it's giving back because if you're only giving and you're not getting anything back you're being highly codependent um, in a lot of ways the narcissist and the emotionally abusive are very dependent they, they have no real selfhood or individuation actually within themselves they they will claim to be something that they're not or they'll work it towards um, putting off an image of something that they're not and if we look back at our own lives there have been times that we've pumped ourselves up with pride that the, the thing that is different with the narcissistic person is they really that they only see people as ways of getting to something, of taking. So they're much more, I would say, dependent on people than what we give narcissists credit for. The overt narcissist, even though that they might be pushy and the world may agree with them that they deserve what they're getting, they're actually dependent upon every fucking body for their approval, you know, their approbation, um, for everything. Uh, the covert narcissist or the, we, we should say fragile or the um, insecure narcissistic type, they... They believe that the world owes them something. It's much more like a poor me, self-pity. Oh, if the world only knew what kind of good person I am, blah, 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 blah. And they have a secret hatred, you know, of other people. Um, and there again, if we look inside ourselves and we look outside, we can see... Where we've had those self piteous uh, moments in our lives where we've pitied ourselves. And that's not self compassion. We're talking about actual self pity. Where we didn't see the outside world. Just, uh, you know. And if you're codependent, you also have a mirroring type of or a parallel effect of uh, that. Well, they should just know. Or this person. Or they should da da da. Um, People pleasing syndrome. It's 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 in, in my opinion it's it's sort of narcissistic it covert narcissistic in ways because um it's got this like a bullshit unspoken contract between people and if you've ever been one of these nice guys and nice girls you know what I'm talking about and you have to get really honest with yourself in order to get to that place but we want to get to interdependency um check out the video link below uh, talks a little bit about counterdependency, but you really want to work yourself up to a point of interdependency. I'm gonna list the stages, but as uh, like I, like I say, uh, as infants we go through dependency, as children and young adults we go through codependency, as teenagers we're supposed to go through counterdependency. Young adulthood, independency, adulthood, interdependency. That's, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, but in my opinion, that's the way that the shit works. 
in all my research and the things that I've researched so far. That's, that's what I've come up with. Um, and it's like the stage of maturation. The reason why I brought this up is we need to be highly aware of where we're at in that spectrum at all times because we can regress. We can regress. We, um, in our healing, in some ways, we have very fragile egos because we've had porous boundaries. And I will say again, if there's one thing that I could save you years with of time is go through YouTube, get counseling, uh, get therapeutic help for boundary issues, boundaries. There's one fucking thing I can tell you right now is work on your boundaries first. First. That would have saved me years of goddamn time. Years. So let me save you time right now, save you tons of fucking money. Do the fucking boundary work. Do the fucking boundary work first. Okay? While you're doing that, do your self-interest or your self-care, your self-love work. And they all mean the same thing. Self-interest, self-care, self-love, they are the same thing. You want to know how to love yourself? Be self-interested. You want to know how to love yourself? Be self-caring. All right? Get up, make your bed, brush your teeth, clip your nails. Be good to yourself, okay? Having said that, work on those boundaries first. I'm going to list this, but we want to work from dependency to interdependency. Especially with all this shit so that we can individuate from a lot of this behavior. Because in our society right now... Either we're going to become more responsible for ourselves and more accountable for ourselves, or our civilization is going to fucking die. Uh, in a very real way. In a very real way. What is happening on the national levels, international levels, is happening on the personal levels in society right fucking now. Uh, they, In hermetic levels, they'd say, as above... So below, or the law of correspondence, as within, so without. As on the micro, the macro. This shit's all going down. And I hope this has been helpful. If this has been helpful to you or you know someone who's going through some of the same shit, uh, share this video. Also, if you would like my help, drop me a line at the dot elijah dot smith at gmail dot com that's t h e dot e l i j a h dot s m i t h at gmail dot com or just text me your name and your issue uh, in America or using the American prefix. One two seven zero nine four three seven six nine one. I do answer my emails and my texts, so don't be afraid, sunshine. You do not have an excuse. Um, even if you say you don't have money to get help, I'm here. I'm fucking here. And um, we all have to do this together. It's my part of being interdependent. It's my part of giving back. What I have been given. So let's get there together. As always, you sexy motherfuckers, you take care of yourselves. You love your fucking selves. Do you fucking hear me? If Jesus don't goddamn love you, I fucking love you. Fucking I lust you, you son of a bitches. Have a great one, y'all.